Уважаемые коллеги, я рад приветствовать всех собравшихся в Белом зале Российской Академии Народного Хозяйства и Государственной Службы при президенте Российской Федерации. В рамках Гайдаровского форума мы проводим панельную дискуссию, посвященную региональным бюджетам. В нашей панельной дискуссии мы будем вдвоем модерировать ее с Сергеем Николаевичем Рябухиным, представителем Комитета по бюджету и финансовым рынком Совета Федерации, Федерального Собрания. The Federal Assembly. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am head of the Department of the Economy Regulation at Ranera. And as you see, so we have so just quite a few speakers who are going to participate in our panel discussion. And we'll be we'll be happy to follow up on our discussion. Uh, in uh, in the form of questions and answers, and uh, open uh, so floor uh, to uh, questions at the end of our after we have all spoken, uh, and the presenters spoken. Uh, if uh, anyone just uh, you can just put our questions, your questions in, in writing, if you wish. Uh, and uh, I'd like to welcome uh, you all once again. Uh, and uh, over to Mr. Buchin, uh, uh, who will identify uh, the priorities and uh, so the area of uh, uh, our interests. Uh, thank you, Vladimir Viktorovich. Uh, uh, effectively, uh, one of the key uh, subjects uh, uh, that uh, we have on our uh, panel agenda uh, is uh, uh, I've been uh, listening to, uh, uh, to the main uh, 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 so format uh, of the discussion at the key panel. Uh, so 2030 strategy and uh, so the main the red line that I can uh, see there and the, mm, so then there are uh, new approaches uh, uh, to uh, the few future strategy 2030 and uh, so they're being developed and uh, so the main speaker spoke about that and uh, the main uh, uh, participants uh, uh, repeatedly uh, mentioned uh, um, uh, those and uh, from the other chamber and this uh, council federation federal assembly and uh, so we uh, so we see where we're trying to see where the strategy is and so and what structure uh, 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 what volumes uh, uh, so we need just to identify uh, those those issues in a more comprehensive manner and just and, and uh, so to understand the sustainability of the development of the constituent units of the Russian Federation and uh, so then I think that the key point of sustainability of balanced uh, uh, development uh, uh, balanced formation this is obvious. That's exactly what we've been trying to achieve, and uh, and uh, so then uh, uh, so we can we can see that even in the workings of the government of 2014, uh, so we can uh, deduce that uh, so this uh, this short period of time, uh, 2014, 2014, uh, so then the uh, then the deficits uh, uh, of the constituent units of the Russian Federation went up from 25 to 400 billion. Um, and uh, uh, so then, uh, so huge, so hundreds of millions of, of rubles uh, uh, of indebtedness. So the deficit, uh, budget deficits went up drastically. And that's one of the main issues that we need to address. Uh, so the growth of indebtedness uh, and as, on, as one of the uh, main uh, uh, points of the strategy uh, of uh, 2030 uh, should be this balanced budget. Uh, and then another uh, um, strategic issue is the growing uh, debt. So joint with some um, uh, municipal debts, more than 300 billion. Uh, so the debt is about 2.5 trillion dollars of indebtedness. Uh, so that the composite debt and the three constituent units of the Russian Federation have plus 740 billion is commercial uh, credits. Uh, so 210 is uh, the uh, the uh, the loans provided by the federal. So about 250 billion uh, is securities. Uh, uh, so then. Uh, 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 capital, capital markets, uh, state guarantees, etc. So we need just to uh, to do something about that because we, so there are only two uh, sources of uh, revenues, which is uh, the uh, uh, value added tax uh, and uh, and uh, so then. Um, and then another tax against the background of the dropping economy, so we can forecast. So that there are only two two taxes, which are the sources of revenues, and uh, 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 and the income tax, personal income tax, is another tax. And uh, so and then uh, uh, so then the Minister of Finance uh, suggested that we, uh, as an instrument of reduction of this indebtedness of of this uh, uh, cumbersome uh, servicing of the state debt, so the Ministry of uh, Finance decided. Uh, 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 so, so to uh, 
uh, so to replace uh, uh, budget credits with commercial credits, etc. And uh, so this certainly will elevate uh, the spending of the regional budgets. But this is this is a big outstanding issue anyway. And uh, and uh, so the history of those uh, uh, loans is a very hard legacy. And uh, so we which is about 50, 50 billion. Uh, uh, so then they had to return uh, because they they couldn't uh, comply with the requirements, and uh, so they had to return. Uh, uh, so they uh, uh, this kind of financing in the amount of 50 billion. And, uh, so then, so then uh, certainly then uh, so they although reduced the interest rates from 15 to 10 percent on their uh, 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 on their uh, uh, liabilities, etc. And then there are some other, and, and so then the, the term extended from three to five uh, years. But still, we need to have some radical approach. Which, what are, so let's open it for discussion. What are the radical, drastic changes? What are the sources of the sustainability and, and balanced nature of the regional economy, of, reg, uh, of the regions? Um, and so what, regional budgets? So look, true. Uh, so two trillion, uh, two trillion uh, rubles of unfinished, uh, uncompleted assets. I mean, uh, cap cap capex, uh, then benefits, uh, allowances. Uh, uh, so then, uh, uh, so there was a c committee recently, um, and uh, I headed this committee. So we analyzed. So the Ministry of Economic Development was supposed to develop methodology of, of benefits and allowances adopted, adopted at the federal level. Usually, they impact adverse regional budgets. And then we can see that the, that the composite uh, so preferences and uh, and the benefits uh, for for this, uh, 19, uh, 2016 to, to, to 2018 is about three billion rubles. Although the audit chamber does not agree uh, with the ministry, so they say 6.5 trillion. That's uh, what the audit chamber said that. And so that's another subject uh, for discussion. Uh, so how? Because it's a, it's it's a big mistake. It's not just a, a, a few hundred thousand rubles. It's a, it's a three trillion versus six trillion rubles, and uh, so then two trillion is an additional source uh, uh, of, of income. And and, uh, and uh, if you look, uh, so the uh, forex uh, legislation. Uh, 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 so then the penalties, uh, accumulated penalties, more than 1 trillion rubles, uh, 1.2 trillion rubles, uh, they need to be returned, they paid back, so they need to be somehow exacted, uh, they need to be collected, so there is, uh, uh, we have tax authorities, we have lots of instruments just to return and to make them pay, so they have to do it, uh, they have to perform these functions, uh, uh, and uh, so we're trying just to cover the deficits, uh, the regional deficits and debts, and uh, uh, and uh, so trying to find every ruble, but here we have trillions of rubles that have not been collected. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, we so we need just to look at the structure of the turnover of uh, alcoholic uh, alcoholic drinks. And uh, unfortunately, we need to supervise it, control it, and uh, and uh, so then the analysis and the audits conducted. So we have about 200 billion rubles lost in uh, in in alcoholic. Uh, 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 products taxes, and uh, because because uh, uh, so 50 percent uh, is illegal uh, turnover alcoholic uh, 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 drinks, and uh, so there was, there was a bill uh, so by the, uh, the, the of our ministry just to uh, uh, to destroy the equipment uh, uh, to uh, destroy the, the illegally produced vodka, and so but there is a federal there is a federal body that actually controls and monitors the the illegal uh, sale of uh, alcoholic drinks, and uh, that needs to be stopped, destroyed, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, so now we have delineated the main uh, problems. So the main five issues that actually may be a, a springboard uh, um, and uh, that, that can actually yield uh, from five to ten uh, trillion rubles. I'm not even talking about the offshore uh, 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 so revenues that could have been regained, but uh, unfortunately, uh, 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 there have been uh, not many attempts to, to do that. Mm. And uh, so they're using uh, uh, budget credits, uh, they have an access uh, to municipal orders, uh, and they need to be limited immediately if, if they are offshore. So let bring them over to the Russian jurisdiction, and then so they can enjoy uh, all the benefits uh, 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 that the government may, may offer. So then uh, uh, bona, fide, uh, bona fide players in the Russian market, only then they need to uh, be provided with these opportunities. Um, uh, so I have delineated a very wide uh, so gamut of issues, 
And then I just will talk about the recipes for, uh, uh, for the balanced formation of regional budgets. So the audit chamber of the Russian Federation, we mentioned it several times. Uh, so they do the expert analysis and uh, monitoring uh, 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 capabilities, and they have uh, a lot of information, and they develop recommendations, proposals. Uh, uh, so for the uh, legislation, uh, uh, um, for the president, uh, you know, the how to uh, ensure this balanced nature uh, of the regional budgets. So I'd like to give the floor to Mr. Rosliak, uh, uh, so an auditor of the, uh, of the audit chamber of the Russian Federation that uh, monitors the regional budgets. Uh, uh, so good, uh, uh, good afternoon, uh, um, and uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, participants. Uh, so the problem of the balanced nature of the regional budgets uh, is an extremely important uh, uh, component that we need to pay attention to, not only related to crisis, uh, but I will talk about uh, the, the fair redistribution of, uh, of financing. Uh, uh, that, that the consolidated budget has with the federal budget and the, and the, and the regional budgets and, and the budgets of the constituent units of the Russian Federation. So the fair distribution, that's what I'm... I'm not going just to provide you with recipes because I would like just uh, to speak about uh, some uh, 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 challenges that uh, are extremely pertinent and germane to this uh, uh, issue. Yes, we need to develop certain approaches how to level off this situation and stabilize it. Uh, so the first, uh, so the first issue, uh, so is there uh, unbalanced nature of the regional budgets or not? Uh, uh, so we spoke repeatedly about that and uh, can give you some information about the budget consolidated execution uh, uh, of uh, the, uh, the Russian Federation 2015. So we see that 76% of the regions, uh, of constituent units of the Russian Federation, have completed uh, this year, uh, so with a deficit, uh, with more than 280 billion rubles. So the deficit, 76. Uh, uh, so there's a deficit uh, against the background of the adopted budgets. And unfortunately, uh, so 76 regions cannot make both ends meet, So which is uh, 384 billion rubles. And the revenues vis-à-vis uh, 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 -vis, uh, the uh, confirmed ones so have been uh, executed 101 percent. Uh, so, but the spending is only 92 percent. Uh, so then the uh, so then mobilization of the revenues has been done properly. Uh, so then the biggest deficits: Krasnoyarsk region, Samara region, Novosibirsk. The biggest deficits: uh, Nizhny Novgorod, Krasnodar, Rostov. It looks like that the constituent units that a couple of years ago were uh, the basic, uh, uh, the most uh, so money-bearing, uh, stable, sustainable regions, and uh, uh, so they were quite reliable. So and the uh, 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 so there were the regions involved in uh, reforms, and they are not part uh, of the regions that not need any any support, any additional help. So they no need uh, to support them. It's on the face of it. Uh, and uh, uh, so it's not the regions that actually rely on 60% of uh, the support uh, from the from the federal center, but still some regions have completed uh, their budget uh, uh, so with the, the surplus, with the surplus, but more than 90% of the total deficit. Uh, uh, so falls to the share of four regions: uh, it was uh, Moscow, Sakhalin uh, surplus, uh, another surplus, uh, Leningrad uh, surplus, and Tumen 11.4 uh, surplus. So these constituent units, uh, uh, so they so they reduce the total uh, consolidated deficit to 190 billion, uh, but the responsibility for the execution of social responsibilities is uh, on is part of the regional budgets. Uh, so when uh, during the execution of the budget, uh, implementation of the budget, so lots of issues. So 24 constituent units uh, 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 failed. Uh, 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 so to meet the uh, terms of uh, getting uh, 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 loans uh, uh, from the federal budget. So 16 constituent units, uh, 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 so they had problems uh, uh, with, uh, uh, so with, uh, with issues related to uh, uh, knocking down uh, the, uh, the emergency, uh, so the uh, shabby, uh, uh, shabby ramshackle housing, and so they didn't do that and then building new housing. That, that was not done. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, um, 
Uh, so then uh, those are the indicators that tell us that there are many challenges uh, th that if we fail to, uh, to address them, uh, so the regional budgets cannot operate well. Uh, so what uh, challenges we can identify right now? So first one is the is the absence of we don't we need just to inventorize we need we need to stock uh, 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 take uh, uh, what we have uh, mm, and uh, we need to do the inventory uh, of the assets that the regions have so for example so these are the the revenues and spendings of the uh, uh, of the Russian Feder uh, of the different constituents of the Russian Federation and the next slide uh, uh, so you can see the authorities so by uh, 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 so when we did this, uh, uh, so then the federal law uh, number uh, 184, uh, so on the major principles of uh, uh, legislative and executive authorities of the state power, uh, so, more, uh, so more than 50 times uh, so different changes have been made and more than federal, 80 federal uh, regulatory uh, uh, legal acts have been changed. and. Uh, and but in certain di different uh, constituent units, uh, uh, so they delegate power uh, on different uh, uh, conditions. But we need to remember that the cost of those uh, uh, empowerment authority so need to be reflected uh, uh, for each constituent unit of the Russian Federation. We need to develop the mechanism that would be able to monitor that. Uh, let's see the changes. Since uh, 2013, the Russian Federation moved over to the formation of the budget and development programs uh, so by targeted method mm. uh, by a targeted method so that's a big change and uh, because i think that we need uh, uh, certainly uh, it needs to be reflected in the budget process as well unfortunately so the changes in the budget process and the principles of regu regulation of interbudgetary relations has not taken place and uh, uh, my argument is while every constituent unit uh, uh, used to stay within their authorities, within the revenues that uh, uh, they managed to uh, to obtain, uh, 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 so then now, so when we uh, when we move over to the program method, targeted method for each constituent unit for each state program, uh, so adopted at the level of the Russian Federation, so all of them are implemented in different territories, and they have specific tasks, goals that need to be done uh, certain dead deadlines and, uh, and by certain times so, so these are main tar targets uh, uh, so removing old uh, housing uh, 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 increasing salaries uh, uh, etc so these are target uh, uh, milestones that need to be properly performed and honored and uh, uh, and then the, so there will be financing provided so this is not the linear the linear approach target targeted approach Mm. Uh, in order, so we need to make sure proper proper payment, proper salaries, uh, quality of life. So it needs to be leveled off uh, uh, in the total territory of the Russian Federation. So it's, it's, it's a good task. It's a good it's it's a good order, uh, but we need to go back to the order on strategic planning uh, law. So uh, uh, so law uh, one one eighty eighty two. And this for the following principles. So when you when you form the programs and goals, so you implement the balanced uh, assessment of all types of resources uh, required to achieve the goals. That that is part of the program, which means that we mean just to identify resources, that we need to identify the uh, staff. Uh, uh, so we need to identify all the conditions in terms of the program's implementation, and financial balance needs to be attained. And uh, do we have this mechanism right now uh, that will take into consideration the financial balance of the obligations that the con that that the uh, constituent units uh, now have to bear? And that's the reason. Uh, so why? Uh, uh, so, uh, so for example, uh, even 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 good, reliable, uh, robust regions. Uh, so they're going down. Why? Because the spendings that they have to do, and the volume of financial support provided by the federal budget, not adequate and not uh, 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 so concomitant with the responsibilities that this uh, that these robust. Uh, uh, constituent units have to carry out. So we have deficits of financial opportunities of the constituent units of the Russian Federation. And uh, we need just to pay attention to those deficits. Because if we look at all social obligations, uh, all social uh, 
uh, let's put it this way, uh, all the tasks uh, to ensure the balanced nature uh, uh, and the quality of life uh, in those territories. It's the responsibility of the constituent units. And, uh, and they are implemented uh, uh, in, uh, uh, in constituent units of the Russian Federation. But look at, at the structure of those state programs. Uh, so have you seen uh, many programs that will have this uh, territorial cross-section, territorial interests, uh, and uh, so relevant to the task on hand that the constituent units have? Uh, are there any response programs uh, 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 that uh, uh, would guarantee achieving uh, those goals that we need to implement uh, during the implementation of the state programs at the regional level and the conditions uh, at which uh, so these programs uh, are implemented. Uh, uh, so subsidies, uh, 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 investments, uh, financing, appropriations uh, that the federal uh, component provides. So there are no programs like that, and uh, so, but this system should exist, should be built. We need to create a mechanism which would allow to evaluate uh, uh, the the spending, the spendings. Uh, uh, so when uh, so the constituent units care, uh, care carrying out, and so we need to identify what exactly they should say, what should do, and what what what, what value uh, uh, is involved, and uh, what financing is involved, and. Uh, and uh, so th this is a good instrument that the constituent units have to uh, uh, to carry out uh, uh, on a on a, uh, on, a, on a routine basis. Uh, so all the items, so the legal framework is there. So organization of the budgets uh, and budget spendings uh, and uh, all the liabilities, obligations of so the constituent units. It's all there, but there is one thing lacking. So first, there is no component of the state programs that need to be reflected. Uh, in the register of the spendings, a list of spendings, uh, exp uh, so uh, original expenditures. Uh, and it's not there. So we need just to know how much uh, a constituent unit spends this year, then uh, next year, and, and, and how much they plan, how much play they plan for the next period, so for the next three year uh, period. Uh, but, uh, but we don't have one figure. How much does it cost? Uh, so, uh, so uh, what? What are the? What is the? What the composite? Uh, uh, co composite authority? Uh, uh, so, from the viewpoint of uh, the amount of financing that the that the that the regions should have. So, their authorities, their obligations, uh, their commitments, they are not discussed. And uh, uh, so, because they no no no, uh, they no, no it's, it's not explained. What is it that they're supposed to do? And uh, so we need this mechanism of spending, the mechanism of compartmentalization, uh, identification of the main uh, of the main uh, so items of spending uh, during the formation of the of the original budget, and uh, and especially uh, and especially uh, talking about the money that uh, that uh, that the regional uh, budgets receive from the federal uh, 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 from the federal government. Another issue. So absence of the valuation of the assets uh, 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 that uh, they need to identify to finance the current obligations, uh, that, uh, that, that uh, especially when there is a co-financing, so the subsidies of different uh, uh, so ministries and uh, and industries. Mm. So what what we mean uh, that the, the system of uh, uh, reporting, uh, accounting, uh, uh, so how much, uh, uh, over which period of time, so how much financing should be provided by the region, uh, uh, so, uh, so before they become entitled to a certain amount of help provided by the federal government, we don't have it, uh, so how much they're supposed to spend before, so the federal support kicks in, uh, and, uh, and so there is no, uh, uh, it's, it's not done, because the federal money uh, arrives, but, but, they, uh, but their own uh, uh, f uh, uh, regional budgets, uh, they do not match it uh, ruble for ruble, and uh, that, is, that is why the, the budget, uh, the original budget, they, they, they need to provide, they need to match the federal rubles uh, with their own rubles, but they cannot do that because they, uh, there is no budget for that. <laughs> then, so the different subsidies, uh, subsidies, uh, co-financing. Uh, subsidies, uh, uh, so co-financing for different goals, uh, so about issues of 50, 60, sometimes 10, 10 percent uh, participation of the budget at the time, so when they form the budget, these volumes, uh, uh, the regions don't know about those volumes of co-financing volumes. It means that those 92 
uh, 92, now 92 types of support uh, for agreements that the Constitution signed with the federal government. Uh, so they need to uh, be, uh, uh, we need to put them, put them, put them together. We need to enlarge them. Uh, uh, so small subsidies need to be put into bundled up into bigger subsidies, like like in agriculture. So because the subsidies come at the end of December, so what can the constituent use do uh, if the budget has already been done and it's too late to make any changes? So, uh, it comes too late mm. uh, for any changes to make. And uh, so those who are who do the budgeting or financing of the budget, they fully realize that the only source uh, uh, of revenues is increasing their own deficit. Mm. And uh, uh, so then going over the threshold uh, tract uh, 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 to borrow money um, and in order to implement the uh, the, the event uh, for which the constituent, units, uh, uh, constituent unit is responsible for. And that's the only way to survive. And uh, so this is one of the negative factors. So what needs doing in order to ensure the balanced uh, uh, budgets, regional budgets? And who is responsible? And who should guarantee this? And uh, unfortunately, no answer to that yet. Uh, so some specialists say, as the Minister of Finance, uh, thinks that the financial balance uh, so for the uh, for the programs need to be done by the Minister of Economic Development. So we think that the only that the only the uh, standardized, uh, um, comprehensive uh, 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 system should be done uh, should be uh, uh, should be done by the Ministry of Finance of the Russian Federation. This consolidated system, and then the regional debt, the regional debt, uh, uh, the debt of the regions. Uh, so we don't know the exact figure. They will be posted soon. Uh, the figures. Uh, uh, so what is what what we're going to do with the state debt of the regions of the Russian Federation? But with this huge deficit, so the chances are that that the deficit as of December the first, uh, 2.1 trillion rubles, I think that will it will go up. Mm -hmm. Without municipalities, I'm not talking about municipalities. I'm talking about the regional money, municipalities. Uh, uh, so they they decided they they are trying to be lean and not to increase that. So mostly, it's the uh, social responsibilities uh, are the part of the responsibility of the federal government of the Russian Federation. The uh, Ministry of Finance uh, uh, pro, uh, uh, pro, uh, uh, foresees very harsh uh, uh, measures. Uh, so uh, to those regions that failed uh, to uh, honor the uh, the commitments that they made last year, mm. and uh, so related to the foreign exchange rate, etc. Uh, so they promised not to increase deficit, but de facto they increased it, and uh, that's a, that's a violation, and uh, so that's why uh, uh, we uh, uh, so applied sanctions against them for that for failing to to conform to the budget deficit uh, levels. Then that's why issues related to debts, uh, so they're very important, um, and uh, so second year running, uh, so a lot of money spent uh, on uh, on this replacement uh, substitution effort. This replacement substitution. This is dynamics of the state debt. Uh, uh, so then, as of December uh, uh, 1st, 2015, but this uh, figure may change. Uh, uh, but uh, what I would like to mention: so how how efficiently uh, uh, so the mechanism of providing uh, uh, loans, uh, uh, federal loans, works? Let's see. Mm. So you can see there's two indicators. So loans obtained from commercial banks, uh, the blue, and the budget loans, the red line. So the figure is the same. Uh, so they overlap. Uh, and uh, so you can see that uh, it's almost 350 billion rubles, uh, uh, and uh, so another 46 billion returned, uh, paid back to the budget later, uh, earlier. Uh, and uh, so then, uh, so then uh, they asked for additional uh, uh, so state uh, uh, borrowing. So the system has not changed. Uh, why? Yeah. Uh, so because improving the debt structure is possible, but the most important, we need to overcome the uh, the existing uh, challenge. So the problem, uh, so the, the the root cause of how and why this this debt uh, was created in the first place, because I am an adherent of. Uh, uh, of a sustainable policy here at the level of the constituent units of the Russian Federation, with only one exception. So the debts that are raised by the constituent units should be spent only 
uh, for the programs of development and purposes of the development program. And so, and then, so with the help of this additional accelerated financing, we can develop infrastructure, provide business support, uh, support to uh, uh, small medium businesses, etc. If you look at the debt structure, uh, uh, so then the debts related to uh, the development goals, uh, uh, you won't see many. Mostly is the debts uh, to cover the deficit of the current consumption, and which is very bad, and uh, and uh, and very very difficult to uh, get the money back because there, there there are no sources how to repay this kind of debt uh, because it just cover up the deficit. And, and yeah, but for many for many years. Uh, 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 so we uh, cannot uh, so to achieve the, uh, the the balanced nature of uh, the original budget. So what could be the response? Mm. 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 So there may be many things to list and uh, and discuss and the terms and the uh, comprehensive uh, comprehensiveness, but we need a proper uh, program document. So a program. Uh, within the uh, Ministry of Finance activity. Uh, that's the 36th uh, federal program about the development of relations for responsible management of regional, uh, regional and municipal finance. And this program should set the principles and mechanism of mid-term budget policy um, uh, on the basis of the current situation and proper accurate uh, estimation of the uh, present results and the risks. Uh, and the exposure and uh, the best efficient use of the budget uh, finance um, on the new principles. Again, uh, our own, own uh, responsibility and uh, empowerment and uh, the strategic documents for the constituent units of the Russian Federation. In this case, we can ensure on one hand we can stabilize the situation, make it sustainable um, and exclude the chance of um, growing, snowballing the debt. And then uh, now the constituent units uh, in, in, in a very difficult situation uh, that, that, that the representatives uh, can confirm those, the people attending here, so that they, they, they can kind of um, uh, put aside the current expenses and uh, start new programs of import substitution and uh, creating new technological solutions in the Far East and the, uh, with the national and the national strategic program and the new um, uh, investments. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the opportunities for investments are very scarce in the local uh, communities. So this is exactly the problems that we see today. We are ready to listen to you, to your questions, uh, criticism, and proposals. I thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Yuri Vitalievich. Yes, indeed. I would like to remind you that we plan to have a Q&A session after all the uh, speeches. So we heard uh, actually several times uh, the, the direct uh, appeal to the Minister of Finance. So let me turn to Minister uh, Lavrov, Deputy Minister of Finance of Russia. I believe uh, we have already collected many questions uh, that the ministry that is in charge of uh, balancing the regional budgets and the uh, creating the tools uh, as a register of um, the uh, liabilities uh, so uh, 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 of payables so and uh, the we understand that uh, uh, probably you're not in charge of the budget relations in the ministry but uh, we have uh, many questions to our financial uh, agencies. So I, I would like uh, to pass the floor to Mr. Lavrov. Uh, good afternoon. That's true that Yuri Vitalich, as usual, raised very serious uh, questions. And we are happy to our uh, 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 agencies that uh, uh, definitely raises all the proper questions. Uh, lately, we have started uh, working in a close link with them, but, but uh, there is still way to go. Uh, we, we do not always agree with them, with this uh, accounting chamber, accounts chamber. So let me um, tell you that uh, Yuri Vitalich covered nearly everything 
So we could probably move on uh, just uh, responding and commenting. Um, and uh, we have a word recipes in our discussion. Uh, recipe usually is something that uh, can cure uh, a sick person. But uh, sometimes it's not the recipe, but the uh, healthy way of life that you need to apply. Just you, you need to change uh, the way of life and that, that, that you will be healthy, you know. Um, and uh, so we need to think what to do uh, within the next three years, how to take the regions out of the debt crisis. And uh, uh, what do we have together with the audit chamber? Um, uh, and what can we do? Even if we uh, take the regions now, uh, so what are the measures that we could apply? We would like to provide uh, the constituent units of Russia, the uh, budget facilities and uh, uh, trying to replace uh, the early market borrowings. So that will definitely uh, mean that they will save money on servicing the debt. Last year, uh, this uh, saving amounted to 50 uh, billion rubles. This is not peanuts for many regions. Uh, it is very substantial. But what's happening? Um, only if we do it uh, for some years, so the whole market uh, uh, areas will be replaced by the budget loans. Is it a proper, is it a good situation or not? It is still no good because many constituent units have already exceeded the limits on debt, uh, exceeding 100% of their uh, GDP. So. It means that they have no way for development. Uh, seven regions uh, exceeded the 100% of the uh, threshold. Uh, in two cases, uh, like a Belgorod area, uh, the debt is one third of the state guarantee, and Chukotsk uh, have now switched. But for the other five regions, the situation is quite uh, unpleasant, and we need to take care. Uh, so it's either refinancing by the budget loans restructuring so calling it uh, by by their proper proper names uh, to write off which is unacceptable and the situation is much worse so to substitute for the earlier uh, loans um, we can see from the chart the situation may arise that we need uh, to um, help them to get out of the debt crisis. Uh, but we understand that the volume and the structure of debt will deteriorate if we keep borrowing. So it is unacceptable. Uh, it's not so much the recipes, but the different approach is needed to prevent such situations in future. The number that we heard, that's true. Now the uh, debt level is approximately 35% of the tax uh, revenues and the deficit uh, but the deficit uh, at the year end uh, according to the preliminary estimation uh, according to the audit chamber is 2%. Last year deficit was 5% of the uh, costs of the expenditures and the debt keeps, keeps growing and again uh, it's it sounds like the mean temperature in the hospital uh, so but it's the debt crisis and uh, the thing I want to say that the mean temperature is hospital in hospital is not a bad indicator if uh, there is a hospital uh, where it is 50 degrees and in the other a hospital it's uh, 15 degrees is bad both hospitals are bad but in the third hospital if it is 36.6 .6, it means this hospital is in good shape uh, so uh, we can't uh, call the situation a, a disaster but for most of the constituent units the situation is okay and the deficit is lower uh, year on year and five constituent units uh, in the most difficult situation now uh, 
we we have set up a special special working groups for them uh, that uh, work individually for uh, considering all the specifics of each uh, 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 local situation so in astrakhan the situation uh, is different from another region so in each and every case we need to take a closer look uh, and uh, look for the uh, reserves and uh, resources and um, uh, continue working with it as for the other but ministry even even during the good years the ministry has been working with uh, uh, highly subsidized regions in a proper way and uh, uh, with uh, uh, very good results and uh, Speaking about the systemic effort, can we change anything? And uh, what are the tools we could use to achieve that, um, to balance the budget? And we try to change them. It's not necessary just to uh, break even. Uh, we want them to be profitable, to reduce the debt and uh, 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 switch to surplus. Uh, and can we do it? in the uh, local constituent units uh, through the federative measures. I would like to hear your proposal. What else can we uh, again uh, transfer to them? 2% of the uh, profit tax, that's a very bad source of finance for the regional budget. 18% uh, rate is already bad because this is very unsustainable, in unstable source of income depending on the economic situation, very mobile, very uneven. And when we uh, say that the constituent units develop their ta 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 taxable base, it depends on the sources, uh, especially the profit tax is very changeable. So the groups of taxpayers may show their profits uh, in 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 a very murky place you never know where they are going to show their profits so we believe it would be wrong to depend for the regions to depend on uh, those uh, types of income tax mm, income tax excise then uh, very often uh, use the formula but not the location so let us uh, uh, come up with the specific proposals what else we can transfer to the uh, federal level and uh, three percent of GDP as a deficit is a, is a threshold. Uh, so again, we cannot uh, just. So we have to 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 work locally. And what are the conventional uh, sources? Uh, what are the ways? Uh, cancel the benefits on the uh, local uh, taxation. We have already done it for the property tax and natural monopolies uh, property tax in spite of all the issues uh, we have to to go for it and uh, that is uh, very significant then cadaster value of land and real estate that's another very good source uh, so real estate uh, property how do you tax the land where the property is located huge number huge quantity of real estate is not even registered for taxation the, so now the time is ripe for that and uh, we have great number of additional uh, federal benefits uh, introduced in the regions so what can we do about it introduce a category uh, 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 of uh, tax uh, uh, expenditures of the uh, local budgets uh, so there are two differences so first a uh, tax what we uh, what they underpay into the budget, for instance, should be forecasted, should be subject to forecast, because now we look at the actual number and they have already uh, added to making 1.6% uh, of GDP. Uh, so we have to, to, to consider that very carefully. This is a very significant uh, amount. And along with forecasting, we can in, indeed uh, distribute them, them by purposes. So when we say that the tax uh, benefits should be efficient, let's say, so what? what is efficient? What is the result that we are targeting? Uh, how can we distribute them through state programs. In this case, it will be clear if they uh, are good or not. Probably it's better to cancel them. So get the money into the budget and uh, finance the state program. This is one of the ways, in our view, to balance the budgets. Uh, 
from the income point of view. And then there is a very serious uh, um, effort is being done to de to 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 uh, elucidate the taxation bay. You you have all seen that in in the uh, uh, construction, uh, in the retail trade, whatever com commerce. Uh, uh, there are many things that are not subject to taxes at all. So, and uh, uh, if uh, we transfer them to the white uh, area out of the the, the gray area so that we, we shall get very high surplus on taxes uh, tax proceeds uh, and again it's good uh, that we can uh, refer to the panel discussions that we heard today we shall have a good system judicial system uh, in a law enforcement system we're not going to uh, terrorize to to pressurize the business you know we don't want to do it uh, to what to what extent the control function uh, should be then why why a person uh, uh, arranges a small business and doesn't want to go white because he will they, they, they will badger him with the checks and audits and whatever it is uh, corruption and then 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 the cost the costs could be cut yes indeed the uh, costs uh, the liabilities have grown up uh, and uh, so it's because the business has new goals new tasks but uh, what we need to do is prioritize if we have nine trillion rubles of uh, expenditures consolidated in the budgets of russia correct me one trillion of salary with all the new requirements uh, it is not easy to understand why uh, there's enough money for everything except the priorities why can't we continue with all the costs and the problems and opti why can't we optimize the budget and uh, that's what we yes we need to achieve certain parameters for uh, the uh, uh, for the paying for the work but but raise efficiency uh, cut the number of employees in many industries and uh, find resources within the industry optimize it but so far this resource has been untapped and uh, 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 people want to raise the salaries and there's not enough money so uh, if we show that the numbers for instance uh, in uh, uh, education the it's up to the local mun and municipal authorities so why in vladimir area in vladimir we have 68 and in uh, smolensk 96 maybe percentage uh, some regional specifics can exist but if the regions are similar but this difference is 30 percent there should be some explanation and again let us let's try to estimate the requirements of the regions in the uh, liabilities so this is description of expenditures so that's something that the region plans uh, uh, according to law to the law to the existing effective laws so they need to convert it into a document uh, saying how much is necessary and uh, but this is uh, back to square one back to 2002 uh, no matter how you calculate them either they will be low and will not uh, function properly will not regulate the relations or uh, we shall get a situation that all the regions uh, will just uh, demand more to ensure that the minimum requirements are met so now when they the uh, 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 so 15 years later after that discussion no approaches have been developed and the reform of 2003 2004 uh, so is based on the federal and constitutional principles and each constituent unit uh, uh, of russia locally uh, commits according to um, to, to their own uh, revenues and uh, now I believe uh, up to 60% of the uh, Russian level and no one has the right to impose any 
uh, obligations to uh, incur certain expenses. So again, this is the mandate that we didn't have in the 90s. So everything that the regions uh, had to do would exceed uh, by 50 percent the consolidated budget. So we have just uh, finished uh, th those situations and uh, we shouldn't uh, do it this way. No matter how much we calculate, uh, there, there's always room for the error. And uh, then it would be an ad hoc last minute uh, redistribution. We shall, uh, so this would be a negative transfer, uh, which is quite negative. Uh, no one is offering because the regions will lose uh, the uh, uh, impetus. The, the regions will lose, lose the motivation uh, to work hard because everything that they overproduce will be taken from them. We believe it's the wrong way. So what could we do? Probably calculate some kind of determin, uh, determined uh, 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 law binding obligations. So something that the region must pay mm, to the medical fund, some, some social benefits. Mm. So there are some compulsory payments that the regions have to make, uh, and there's nothing to do about it. If those minimal uh, 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 mandatory fixed obligations exceed 40% of the budget, probably it's a, it's a it's a negative sign, but saying that we keep saying that the regions have uh, uh, ways to optimize. That's what we should do. Um, give a quantitative estimation. They are all in dif different situations. Some will will afford construction. We have um, uh, nine trillion uh, of rubles, nine trillions of uh, costs, uh, trillion of salaries, and trillion of investment. Uh, and that's good that we have them. It's wonderful that the regions uh, uh, keep this investment activity, keep, keep investing. That's what we should keep doing, but still, uh, uh, we need to identify which regions uh, are uh, 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 kind of living, you know, uh, on the edge and which regions have some some fat you know and uh, we again should be targeting the we, we, we should not uh, uh, finance everyone equally but we should be targeting according to the situation now we can say that the federal legislation uh, is uh, quite good and uh, since January a new federal law has been passed that expands ex uh, the um, the the, the um, opportunity for the regions and uh, the, 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 the by introducing the principles of need without uh, um, making uh, the situation of the regions who use the benefits worse but expanding the number of regions uh, who uh, fall within this uh, scope of the law and uh, many times we would uh, uh, ask the questions so so that non-working categories like pensioners uh, um, can uh, can do some payments uh, that should not uh, actually uh, shrink uh, the general volume of the medical fund but uh, make the system more just uh, so uh, you know many 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 people who are registered as unemployed uh, drive uh, uh, expensive cars to 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 come to the um, unemployment uh, uh, registry office. So I believe that uh, we cannot find a single recipe or even several recipes to address all those issues. I think we. It, it sounds uh, mundane, but but the higher responsibility of the regions for the consequences of their uh, borrowing policy. Why, if we take two absolutely similar regions, uh, so many cases, and uh, one is overloaded, overburdened with the, and, and keeps uh, and keeps living on with a deficit budget, but another region, uh, another region absolutely similar to the first one, will never be uh, in arrears. So this must be a political decision. And and again, the regions want to develop, and. Uh, uh, Sometimes it is difficult to develop your infrastructure without uh, 
uh, resorting to, to uh, borrowing uh, and uh, the debts keep accumulating in Russia and uh, uh, the state probably has to help the regions who have accumulated the debts. Um, so what's the way out of it? We believe that at this very moment there is uh, there are no drastic changes on the agenda we don't see any uh, profound changes except some kind of um, very targeted and local solutions we can keep talking about them but what is there to do uh, to uh, make the budgets more to, to, to for stricter control of the budget uh, and it is the region that should be uh, uh, responsible. It's not that the governor, for instance, uh, uh, um, made the uh, debts and left, but then the next governor uh, should be responsible for all those uh, uh, debts. And uh, we have never applied anything like that uh, for the last 12 years, but we need to kind of prevent it. We need to take preventive measures. Uh, now uh, a new budget code is be is being developed, and uh, one of the innovations says that we are going to break the regions down into three groups uh, uh, by the uh, give them some transition period, uh, and the regions uh, that uh, cannot um, ensure the necessary uh, sustainability uh, may find themselves in the third group with high uh, debt burden. For them, we shall introduce new restrictions in economic activity uh, up to the um, idea when they, uh, we, 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 when we prevent further debts and, and ensure the uh, positive uh, budgets. Uh, they, they will not be able to borrow anymore without the federal improvement. And, uh, as soon as the region approaches the red zone of high uh, debt burden, they have to think first uh, uh, and uh, face the consequences of improper borrowing policy. And the governor, this governor, the, the, the present, the effective governor or the next uh, governor, his successor, will have to be responsible for that. Uh, for uh, uh, matching the requirements, uh, the federal requirements, the loans uh, policy, when we have to say, yes, uh, we have very strict uh, criteria for budget loans. They have to be strict. It would be much worse if they are soft. And the regions, many regions actually uh, stopped uh, getting the budget loans because they understand that they will never meet the criteria. Uh, if we make them softer, again, they will say, if we knew before that uh, uh, there'll be such a bonanza, we would, uh, you know, be on the be the first on the waiting list. And uh, the reforms, the transformation programs, uh, non-deficit budget, you know, the 10 percent of uh, deficit uh, uh, profit is not a, a very strict requirement and there is another proposal that we discussed for all the local authorities uh, we want to reduce uh, the deficits from 50, allowable deficit from 15 to 10 percent because uh, 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 it's the right way to move and uh, the last question is uh, can we uh, have a long-term forecast for the budgets so any strategy uh, would be very um, volatile in uh, the uncertain situation. If everything is good, uh, you don't need a strategy. We just you, you just work uh, within the uh, public programs. So we understand uh, where the country is going. But when the situation is not so sustainable, and uh, you need to make decision uh, under high pressure in the um, uh, c conditions of uncertainty. Uh, so it's not many regions uh, that used this year their right to make the budget forecast. Uh, 
uh, they were allowed to make one, but but they didn't do it. So the long-term budget forecast should exist, even for three years, three years budget. Many constituent units uh, uh, overdid it. Some, some, some of them have uh, passed the new three years budget. So there are no uh, real obstacles for that. Yes, indeed, we have to set the trend and uh, Yeah. Local budgets do not depend so much on oil and gas proceeds, and uh, uh, they always have the numbers uh, of the last uh, financial years. Uh, so it uh, creates uh, the transparency and uh, helps them understand uh, so that to make both ends meet, what what they can do. They are going to consider the forecast for the 2016, 2017. They need to understand if there is a chance to pay out all the debts uh, to service them and how the economic uh, uh, dynamic uh, indicators uh, are linked to other economic uh, properties. So we need uh, to continue uh, considering the long-term and short-term planning horizon. I thank you, Alexei Mikhailovich. Uh, before we uh, 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 give the floor uh, to our next speaker, I'd like just to show you some charts uh, uh, that uh, we uh, made with our colleagues analyzing uh, the situation. Can you hear me? Uh, before we give the floor to the next speaker, I uh, saw so some charts. Uh, mm, uh, so analyzing the debt dynamics in 2015, um, uh, so we made an assumption that the increase of debt is related to the changes uh, of uh, uh, of uh, uh, revenues of regional budgets uh, in, in in crisis situation. So we compared the dynamics uh, of the uh, uh, of the revenues of the regional budgets. Uh, so some went up, some went down, or some regions, and the state and the state debt dynamics of the uh, regional budgets. Uh, uh, in 10 months, uh, so no correlation. And, uh, I think that maybe it's the, uh, it's probably the uh, VAT tax, uh, or uh, uh, it has to do with the VAT tax or the personal income tax. This is that has to do with it because we, we took the index of uh, 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 industrial production and applied it uh, on the dynamics of uh, the of the debt of the budget. Uh, so no correlation. So no relationship at all. Uh, uh, and the and the in the last picture is the dynamic of the of the uh, per capita income and uh, and the debt uh, of the budget uh, mm, uh, which is the red line so then the debt uh, policy uh, pursued by the constituent units of the Russian Federation does not lend itself to any analysis especially on the basis of the uh, concerning the uh, revenue component of the regions. Uh, I think it's all about expenditures. It's all about spendings. And uh, so that the, that the regions are consuming at an ever accelerated rate. Um, uh, so now we uh, saw so that the heads of the Russian federations, uh, so I'd like to, uh, Mr. Tolokonsky, uh, uh, so you have uh, huge experience. Let's get the benefit uh, of your vast experience because you've been working uh, in different Siberian uh, regions and then coming to Krasnoyarsk region. So probably and now you see that this is the region which uh, has a uh, very uh, so big uh, revenue base and everything should be good. Uh, in And then look at the reporting all of a sudden. So you went for budget loans. So what happened? Uh, and uh, your state debt started to increase. What happened? Uh, and so how we deal uh, with this uh, 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 alarming situation? Uh, thank you, colleagues. Uh, I wanted to talk about the general tasks because I think that the situation in our in our cry is very characteristic, typical uh, of uh, the original f uh, financing situation. Uh, but uh, but it's it's good that you wanted to that to know about this, and I, I'm I'm happy to provide some answers. So the deficit of the budget this year, uh, so last year, in Krasnoyarsk region is about 16 billion rubles. So 
the budget deficit and uh, our revenues about 150 billion rubles our own uh, budget revenues 153 which is about 10 percent uh, is uh, the deficit uh, to our own revenues so then accumulated uh, internal debt is quite large about 70 billion rubles so about less than 50 percent of our own revenues revenue base and uh, and it uh, was created uh, mostly uh, uh, mostly uh, in 2013-2014 when we were going through a period uh, whereby for five years our revenues had not been growing and uh, even then horizontal from 2010 to 2014 the revenues uh, uh, were not uh, uh, were not growing and uh, and the spendings uh, so because of the implementation of the some social political development programs uh, so they were uh, uh, so they were quite large, and because the structure of the economy is such that uh, average salaries uh, are quite high. And so Novosibirsk, uh, so then uh, the, I think that after the order of 2012, so there was no need just to add to the salary funds, uh, because then the, then the budget salaries were quite high at that time even. And then Krasnoyarsk, we had to, to increase, uh, in Krasnoyarsk, we had to increase our salaries twice. And uh, so th that is why so the mm, revenues uh, had not been growing. Uh, so that's why there was a dis imbalance between revenues and expenditures. But I'm ready to sign with the Ministry of Finance a program of repayment of this debt because we do have industrial assets which are quite uh, expensive, uh, valuable assets. And, uh, and uh, so there is a program to increase efficiency, efficiency etc. But I'm, I'm convinced that this is a typical situation um, and in 2015 uh, so the uh, budget revenues uh, we increased by 21 billion uh, uh, rubles vis-a-vis um, uh, 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 -vis 2014 so 20, 2014 2015 plus uh, plus 20 21 billion rubles which is uh, 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 so 18 percent plus uh, which is good and, and nevertheless uh, so the deficit was less. Uh, so 2014, we did the budget with a deficit of uh, 22 billion uh, and a half billion. Though the plan of the deficit was 28, but we did 22. So I managed to kind of compress it a little bit. Uh, but uh, anyway, these are the indicators. Uh, and uh, so then several positions, uh, assumptions. Uh, we know that uh, so our debt. Uh, so, which is uh, close? So, oh, the, the Russian debt is was 2.5 uh, trillion, which is close to 2.5 trillion. This is a composite debt. Uh, it certainly needs uh, needs addressing, and uh, we realize that. And uh, so, uh, 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 no, it's so uh, we need to address it somehow because they won't be able because the the, the problem is exacerbated. The problem is uh, is uh, is very. Un imbalanced and it and it occurred not today not yesterday but this imbalanced nature uh, so had been going on for uh, for uh, almost a couple of decades and uh, so then there is a correlation uh, although just with due uh, 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 so respect uh, to our previous speaker but there is a correlation but the Minister of Finance uh, so have been uh, decreasing its attention to the regional financing mm, to regional financing so distribution of responsibilities uh, uh, it's somehow uh, uh, so because because I, I've been working since 1993 and I remember how we tried to get the budget protected the budget as we did the pro rata uh, 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 selection and the distribution so the the region had more uh, powers and authority and opportunities so if we hadn't had those those additional uh, opportunities and and authority and and uh, and freedom so we wouldn't have gone through the uh, uh, the head in 90s and uh, because we, we we enjoyed greater freedom so to address the issue of non payments and uh, and collect revenue and so this was our country. So the only person, the, the only company that, uh, the only institution that I coordinated my activities was the Ministry of Finance, and that's it. Uh, so that was the only coordinator that I had to talk to, and to get support and, uh, and explain my situation. That was back in the 90s. So beca because uh, if it's imbalanced, so we either need just to decrease the spending or increase the revenues. That's the only way out, and it's obvious. But uh, but what I reducing. 
uh, spendings of regional budgets, uh, it's not possible. We should not do that because this is fraught with uh, a very serious uh, a slowing down in development of our economy, the quality of life, uh, and then we'll find ourselves in horrible situations. So uh, it, uh, it does mean that uh, so that the, that the government spending is not efficient. But, we, but, but to increase the efficiency of, of spending and reduce spending is different because if I say, so if the salary is small, okay, let's reduce the staff. But I cannot, so I, I should try to, exp to increase. Uh, so I, I need to try to express, ex increase efficiency, but I should not reduce the salaries. Uh, so, uh, but at least that I need just to have some money to buy some equipment for the for the utilities to uh, to main, to do the maintenance. So that is why. So we cannot reduce in municipal and regional uh, uh, budgets. Spending should not be decreased. Should not be cut. So when I when I saw the 60 per, uh, six, 60 billion of internal debt and 28 percent of current deficit, so I was I was horrified because. So a technical deficit, my term, is so because for the for the for the ministry for the ministry of uh, 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 for the finance uh, for the ministry of finance to tell them that everything is not so so good. So I would get a transfer just to level it off. Uh, but yeah, so actually, so the budget was uh, non-deficit budget. It's not possible to do that. So there are no roads, uh, no transportation, no infrastructure. And uh, so there will be no growth if we reduce expenditure, government spending. Because we, uh, so 650, uh, so because 650 billion goes to the, fe to the federal budget. Yeah. And 150 is our own. Uh, is, is our own uh, revenues uh, because uh, so we have because we have specific exports uh, economy and uh, so we, we give away a lot and that is why too I cannot undermine the uh, uh, capabilities and possibilities of the development of the region and uh, so for example so when you just uh, roads uh, so ex expenditures and mostly it's the spending on infrastructure why it's imbalanced so more than 2.5 trillion uh, unbalanced so look at the depreciation of the assets uh, uh, so look at the depreciation of uh, uh, all the sites and the, so that are owned by municipalities and regions you will see very bad situation amortization is uh, at the critical level so that is why so we cannot save on spending we cannot save on spending this is obvious and I'm going just to fight for it can we increase revenues yes we can increase revenues and I once I uh, I thought that would abandon this position although just we spoke about it uh, before the beginning of the session uh, so they they say that if we uh, spoke about that about five seven years ago and probably so then then would spoke then would probably speak that that the Ministry of Finance is not fair and that we're not getting enough financing so we need more freedom but now the situation has about faced and uh, uh, so now I cannot even talk about that so I have lots of headaches uh, and uh, claims to the Ministry of Finance because there are some benefits and they're slow so then there are new allowances benefits coming the old ones are cancelled uh, so, uh, so very difficult cadaster assessment etc so if you remember the uh, uh, so we are uh, uh, so because we are losing money because uh, any company uh, so they hire an assessment company evaluation company they go to court and they immediately reduce uh, uh, the cadaster uh, assessment of land uh, that's it uh, so they and the court makes a ruling that, that that the cadaster value of the land is much lower than than we want to do yeah, but this is not the recipe and uh, so we so, and and that is why I think that so how to balance the original budgets we need to work on the growth of economy uh, increasing the efficiency of our economy this is the only way to do that is yes, to increase uh, 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 so the efficiency of uh, taxation so the Ministry of Finance uh, and uh, so for example the Ministry of Finance is a good example because in my view uh, uh, so we are when we talk about the growth of economy, we need to, to distribute the authorities and motivation in a way to get the maximum effect. Uh, and so I, I, 
I, I make a point that you cannot you cannot motivate the economic growth uh, uh, from the center uh, at the regional level. It's it's impossible. Yeah, because for example, the Ministry of Agriculture, so they 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 motivate the production of certain certain tractors. So the Ministry of Finance is motivating uh, the development of the regions which are 10,000 kilometers away. It's not possible to do that from uh, from one center. And uh, so then they get a lot of programs. So, but the, the resources, and uh, so for example. Uh, so uh, value-added tax, uh, uh, so revenue tax, uh, pro sorry, pro profit tax uh, cannot motivate a profit tax because it's very dangerous. Uh, 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 so where did I get those uh, 22 uh, billion uh, rubles? I redistributed it. So I would pay less uh, to uh, 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 so some companies than added uh, to the economy and production. And so we're doing that. And, uh, so because uh, so we need to increase to, uh, to increase the volume of our economy. So if I had some VAT revenues, I'm sure that uh, that I would add to uh, yes, then I would add to the economic development. If I had some share of, uh, of VAT tax, uh, so then I would do so the, the the gross domestic product of my region, and uh, so then I manually uh, so I would be able. So the federal authorities cannot do that because the economy is huge and they cannot uh, see everything. So I say, don't give it away. I say just let's exchange the revenues. Let's exchange the profits. So calculate so the percentage of the uh, of the profit and and the percentage of the VAT, and that's exchange. I was a mayor of Novosibirsk, so I had some VATs. I had all the VAT tax revenues. I had our own, so I, co I collected taxes. And so now I have, I know, I'm not related to the tax authorities. I have no taxes. And I have no VAT tax. I, 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 I'm not getting any money. So it, it will immediately motivate me. And there will be new solutions. So there would be no consolidated groups. So, so for example, if it's a federal tax, we won't lose any money. Uh, we would uh, distribute it in a more fair manner. Because uh, so now, with all these... Uh, uh, tolling uh, 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 patterns, uh, 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 so uh, so the, the, uh, nothing is produced, and and these this tolling schemes are benefited by only the, uh, by the same regions who don't produce anything and don't develop their economy. So I can tell you, a huge, a huge uh, 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 company, so big ecological burden, infrastructural problems, huge, but no revenue, no profit, although they have huge assets, manufacturing assets. Because they give them the, the salaries fund, they give the raw materials, they give everything, and so and then and then they take away all the money. So where is the money? No money. So we give the raw materials and we do, and we give the salaries. That's it. Uh, so if the ministry, uh, uh, if ministry of finance uh, uh, took the responsibility, then the approach would be different. And if I had the chance to uh, uh, to collect VAT tax, it would be much uh, or or the income tax. I would certainly increase the efficiency, and I would have more disposable money. And it, it doesn't undermine the federal budget, but it uh, formalizes the situation much better and normalizes the situation much better. Another point, uh, 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 so even even when, during the fat years uh, when everything was fine, uh, so we stopped talking about that. A big segment of uh, economic uh, activities uh, outside tax regulation no tax relationship, no tax, huge shadow. I'm not even talking about criminal and uh, so tax evasion, tax avoidance. I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about so we don't want to regulate huge segments of uh, production relations. So, uh, so for example, so then medical insurance, for example. So any colleague from the region, uh, so look at your uh, uh, or, or your uh, mandatory uh, uh, medical insurance, uh, so be because uh, so, uh, so then uh, there are so many pensioners work, and still so a lot of capable people uh, uh, so cannot uh, cannot be properly employed, and uh, so there's no system, so they're not paying anything. So because there are lots of people who who can work, but they they're not reflected anywhere, and so. 
because we design complicated uh, taxation of the small and medium businesses who are trying to tax them. But, uh, but what's the uh, uh, outcome? No outcome, no results, because every, uh, uh, every person pays uh, 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 so from, uh, from the salary, so whether just he is teaching or working or producing, just, just uh, so then the society will understand that because this is the money, the, this is the tax taken from your salary for the medical insurance, for better roads, for better infrastructure. Explain just so that kids could be taken to kindergartens and, and schools. So people understand. So when we come to this system, we'll immediately take care of the problems which will, be, which will manifest itself more and more. And so we'll, we'll address the issue of population mobility because it's awesome. They, they, they live in one place, they work in another place. And uh, so, and because there's no source of income there, and and uh, so that is why the, the revenues are concentrated in the same. Yeah, yeah, because but the uh, uh, but the but the people's uh, salaries are required uh, for normal life of people, not even for the development of economy. So we just we need just we need to get uh, 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 we, we need to get some uh, 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 personal income tax. Uh, so for several types of infrastructure. Personal income tax, yes, so for power generation, for uh, road infrastructure, because there are many regions like ours, and the, all the 600 billion, uh, uh, billion uh, 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 rubles that are transferred to the state are generated by the region with no infrastructure, with no uh, uh, proper uh, 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 utilities system, etc. It's a big resource. Certainly, I find ways. Uh, so I'm going just to the north, and uh, so I'm going just to invest a billion in, in roads. Otherwise, people lose confidence, and they lose, uh, they don't trust me anymore. And uh, so I'll have to do that. But, uh, so, but, uh, but certainly, it will be outside the federal budget. So there will be a few uh, target, uh, 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 target projects where we, we support not target budgets, but, uh, uh, but businesses uh, where they will develop, uh, develop infrastructure where the federal budget gets their main uh, uh, revenues. And uh, mm. Mm. so then instead of, uh, instead of uh, providing su a subsidy to a certain company, so decide at the federal level, yeah, so then 10 uh, or 12, uh, or eight priorities, specific priorities. Uh, so what the federal government thinks the priorities are. And thus, uh, in, in the governor uh, uh, so uh, allocates a certain uh, financing, so then, uh, then identify for every region the co-financing factor. So for example, so Tuva 95%, Moscow 5% co-financing. So it's very easy to, co to calculate. So provide each region with this co-financing ratio and let them and let them work, and then the money, and then the money come to the regional budget, and uh, but they will certainly uh, be clear, transparent, and uh, so they will certainly generate much better facts for the budget. And that is why the way I see it, that uh, that if you uh, so evolution uh, it won't work. You will never get out of this uh, unbalanced nature of the situation. What we need is a. Uh, so a rigid program of activities and the plan uh, from each constituent unit of the Russian Federation which has imbalance, imbalances and that will motivate us much better than the agreement. So the agreement just, I, I, I honor all commitments. Uh, and so just all, all uh, so good and so, and uh, I do, all, but I'm not motivated to reduce because the basic, the basic, the basic condition of the agreement is not to increase the debt. But I don't want to pay five billion uh, for uh, for servicing. So it's 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 big. It's a lot even for a big budget. Uh, although just replace bonds uh, and uh, uh, so, but then uh, so servicing uh, servicing our debt is uh, ten ten percent, and uh, so so the budget loans help. Uh, uh, so they are kind of uh, they are they are longer than the than the banking loans. Uh, then, uh, but still. Mm, mm, so we need to do that in the second. So we need to do uh, some to adopt some institutional uh, institutional uh, decisions to improve taxation uh, legislation, uh, budget code, uh, and other dis constitutional systems that would create the basis to increase uh, the uh, the speed of the development of of economy. Uh, and uh, uh, because because without the growth of economy, so there will be no taxes and no growth of taxes. 
So when I look at the at the everyday level, so even uh, so our not the most efficient economy. So the budget is still weak because we, we produce oil, gas, coal, and having this huge industrial complex, uh, we still uh, so we still very weak budget. I'm not telling you that we need to increase the budget uh, uh, the budget burden because the so the authorities should not live by the day. This is the worst thing is they live by the day and tax, then there will be no tomorrow. So, but we need just to find ways uh, how to how to to better uh, do the tax regulation to avoid uh, uh, so shadows and gaps and uncertain places, and for every uh, tax source, good motivated administrators. Uh, and, uh, and uh, to have an efficient system of responsibility for payment taxes, uh, uh, and then we'll definitely get the increase, the increase of revenues. Uh, so, for example, so then, so in, uh, if we take out all these companies from the shadow economy, so we can get a 15% increase of personal income tax immediately. In person income tax, we can get more. So because so then in our in our area so 50 billion is personal income tax, uh, 58 billion. So so if we had those additional 50 50 billion uh, in personal income tax, there will be no deficit, and it will make the economy uh, more fair, more competitive, and more open, transparent, and uh, and uh, because everyone is in the same uh, is in the same boat. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Viktor Alexandrovich. Uh, uh, so we have another head of the region, not very rich region. Uh, so it's kind of a poor region, uh, if I can say. So the Jewish uh, Autonomous uh, 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 Republic uh, 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 was, a, uh, was a deficit uh, uh, republic. Uh, but when Mr. Levintal became head of it, the situation improved somewhat. So the Jewish Autonomous uh, Oblast uh, is a typical it's a typical region which uh, does not have uh, a, a big potential for development and uh, and for current uh, support of the economy. So it's, uh, I say, a typical recipient of support. So that's on donations uh, from the Russian Federation. How do you deal uh, with the situation of the balanced budget issue? Okay, the floor is yours. Your spending versus revenues. Uh, so. Uh, when we spoke about the agenda, and I saw myself as a speaker, and I, and uh, so then I, and I knew that I had to talk after two, the two main oblasts. Uh, so then I, will, I was happy just to talk about the uh, the problems of the Jewish autonomous uh, 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 republic. Would be good. Uh, so but everything has to do with Jew Jewishness. Uh, so because uh, there is no uh, there is no oil. Uh, but uh, uh, so there is no oil in uh, uh, in uh, in our in our uh, oblast. Uh, uh, so we're not lucky. No oil um, uh, in our republic. Uh, I mean, in our oblast. Um, so I assume this position in uh, in September. So lots of challenges, uh, and uh, uh, so the main challenge I had to face. So there is no economy in the region because uh, so the previous speaker spoke. They had lots of uh, challenges, uh, Krasnoyarsk, Omsk, etc. So, but you can't even imagine which is a region. What, what? How can you live in a region which has no economy per se? So, because because they, there was we had some light industry, but it's dead because China is closed. And uh, uh, so then, uh, because of the presence of China, so they they killed all, all our light industry. The same with agriculture. So, in strong regions, did not survive. Uh, so the machine building, there was no machine building, no agriculture, no, no nothing. And so you know who, who they pay? So the state, so the army, the uh, bureaucrats pay education, health care. So the main taxpayers, the main taxpayers, uh, so the army, the military, and uh, so the health care. Uh, so, but we, we, we don't even have companies. We don't have any manufacturing assets. That's the problem. And that is why our problem is not a very typical, typical region. But uh, from the viewpoint of the set of issues and the uh, challenges, very typical. And uh, I can show you this slide. Um, 
So the main, uh, the main, uh, so is this imbalance of of revenues and spending. Uh, so we need just to to somehow try to vertically level it off, uh, and uh, uh, so then the ability. So, for example, then revenues and spending, right? So this ratio, this cut, and the so the red one is the federal budget. So the blue one is uh, so the budget, so the constituent units, and the green one is uh, the the budget of the uh, Jewish autonomous uh, uh, oblast. Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, you can see that the Jewish oblast uh, is green. Mm. And. Uh, uh, the, there is a further uh, 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 worsening of the situation uh, uh, because the health care, education, social protection have been uh, uh, so have been given over to us as our responsibility now. But we cannot support all these ex all these expenditures. Uh, we don't have any money, and uh, and uh, un unfortunately there is no one to generate income and no profits made in our oblasts and this is against the background that uh, so when uh, the expenditures have been moved over to the f uh, 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 to the constituent units and uh, so you can see that uh, so then the uh, budgets of the constituent units so the Russian Federation were down from 38 to 33 but the federal budget uh, uh, distribution uh, went up from uh, 61 to 65 then horizontal leveling uh, is different. Uh, uh, so that's uh, one of the main instruments, is trying just to level it off. Uh, uh, so, and so then there are, there are some challenges in this methodology. What? Uh, so because when calculate, so we use the specific, uh, specific weights uh, uh, in, uh, of different constituent units of the Russian Federation. Uh, because it, it used to be in the Soviet times, so there was kind of a manual uh, a tuning uh, of the budgets uh, of constituent units of the Russian Federation, and uh, but it's not, and uh, so it's uh, it was done some time ago, but we don't have it now. Then uh, the main uh, uh, benchmarks uh, uh, are the the uh, so the stand standardized budgets. Uh, mm. uh, uh, so then, uh, so we need just to, to try just to streamline it, uh, but it's it's very difficult because uh, lots of responsibilities now are our responsibilities, and we don't have an uh, an objective uh, indicator. So, so what what do we try to align it with, and uh, what is the benchmark? And so we need just to have this reference point, and uh, what are the landmarks? What we want to achieve? It's not it's not obvious. Mm. So then, uh, so before the uh, uh, so leveling, uh, so ten uh, uh, best uh, uh, constituent units, then the green is ten uh, uh, so poorest uh, uh, regions, and uh, the blue one is ten uh, uh, so very poor regions after uh, so the tuning and and uh, and leveling. Uh, so then uh, they're not. Mm -hmm. Until, well, you are subsidized. Uh, we 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 have to. So we are trying to put in some effort. We are uh, creating the production facilities. We are showing the new taxation base, uh, and uh, uh, so uh, as soon as we show something, they will reduce the transfer. We are trying. You see, we are trying to do something to to reach up the plank, uh, and uh, uh, they tell us, you guys, uh, you just you know, do more. So probably we are not doing enough, and uh, then that we are trying to develop the approaches. And uh, then again, balanced, uh, uh, balancing the subsidies. In 2015, uh, the subsidies were available uh, for the constituent units with the budget from 11 to uh, 1.5. So. Uh, Tatarstan, also not, nothing personal, but uh, Samara, Jaroslavl. So it means uh, uh, those who have less than one at least have to no, no, to pull them to 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 the some adequate level. So uh, for them, for Tatarstan, this, that's peanuts. But for us, uh, this is something that we could really uh, close. You know, we could feel because we uh, keep running. In, in courts, but we could at least uh, cover up uh, some some deficiency. Uh, 
And uh, so this method methodology requires improvement. So Yuri Roslyak uh, and I, we discussed uh, this inventory that uh, of uh, debts, of liabilities, uh, has to be done. For yesterday, uh, well, uh, when, when I uh, met uh, the Minister of Finance, I said, I I'm ready to undress, you know, to take off my clothes uh, to to prove that that I'm clean you know we, we need to have this financial audit of our expenses I need to show we need help not because we're poor we don't work uh, well but because the situation is that way I hate to go to Ministry of Finance asking for money uh, and they will tell me no motivation things like I hate to go around and begging for money that's why we are asking for uh, development, ways to develop. But inventory definitely is necessary because last year the regions have collected liabilities unnecessary for different political reasons. Someone had elections, uh, some other reasons. But on the other hand, there is also federal uh, well thing. You know, look at the subsidies. Co-financing is an issue. State programs. Look at this slide. This is where we participated, the co-financing terms, what we have uh, to provide so that to get something from the budget. Uh, even in the same ministry, there are different conditions for programs. Five somewhere, and somewhere they ask for 50%. I don't have that money. I don't have even enough money to pay salaries to teachers and medical personnel. So the more relatively affluent regions, uh, probably they can co-finance more. They get richer, they invest, yes, they invest 50-50. I don't have it. And it's not that I don't want to participate, but if we try to co-finance, we shall collapse completely because we shall kind of uh, bite uh, uh, um, off more than we can chew. And uh, so we need to look at the shares. Probably we can create some methodology at the regional ministry, whatever program. Uh, there is a department of regional policy that would uh, elaborate, uh, develop some uh, unified co-financing approaches depending on the uh, capacity of each territory. And uh, in conclusion, mm, the, I understand that it's not just, you know, uh, Ministry of Finance has a pie and everybody wants a piece of a pie. We need to increase the whole pie. That's why how, uh, how we operate. We try to embark upon projects in important industries. We have three competitive advantages, uh, com uh, compact uh, small territory, thanks God, in the Far East, because we are not Krasnoyarsk Krai, even Khabarovsk, where I used to work. So this is our competitive advantages. Great logistic. We are on the uh, 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 federal highways in the railway, and we are now building uh, bridges to China, to Khabarovsk, very good projects, great logistics. So there is something to, to uh, build upon. Then um, uh, agriculture and industrial and mining industry. We have projects in um, iron ore and graphite, uh, uh, but I need time. You see, that's the issue. For instance, now I have is an issue with salaries. So once we uh, uh, complete the projects. Uh, so today, in five years, I can uh, jump from 47 to 90, and in 10 years, some 90% of self-financing, but it cannot happen overnight. At the first stage, I need help. I'm ready to take take off my suit, you know, to show how I'm going to grow the uh, uh, taxable basis. And uh, that's where we need to develop the uh, state thinking approach, and not just, you know, mm, uh, average methodologies that are, you know, mm, uh, uh, the same, uh, kind of one size fits all, you know. It doesn't fit my region. Uh, so these are my proposals. Mm -hmm. 
for standardization, taxes, budget, and things. So indeed, I want to sit down together with the experts from the Ministry of Finance. They need to consider the regions individually. Yeah, there should be some uh, general common methodologies, but there should be special terms for every individual region so that the regions could uh, uh, create some industry. But today, during the crisis, you really need to consider the regional specifics. Thank you. And now we have approached the very unusual region, Moscow. Moscow probably <clears throat> was the first one to feel the shrinkage of revenues. In, uh, take, for instance, say 1912 uh, with uh, uh, the smaller uh, taxpayers group. The government of Moscow develops uh, infrastructural programs, uh, uh, underground metro, uh, uh, traffic uh, to the junction nodes and the social responsibilities to Moscow. Where does Moscow find money? How do they manage to balance the regional budget? Maxim Reshetnikov is the person who knows because he is a minister in charge of economic policy in the city. So the floor is yours. Yeah, hello. Thank you for this in, uh, uh, kind introduction. In confirmation of what you said, I'll give you two numbers. Uh, so the growth of uh, uh, tax revenues was 16%, uh, 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 15 compared to 2011. In other regions, is it's 40%. We understand that we were growing much slower it's almost three times slower than other regions. So one of the topics is, uh, yes, consolidated groups of taxpayers where um, uh, huge uh, uh, money stayed in the oil and gas and uh, much money left to other constituent units where the companies are located. And uh, the oil and gas share went down from 16%, I mean, revenues from uh, oil and gas uh, to 2% only in 2015. So 14% of the budget growth or the we, that we had is probably um, exceeds uh, the Ministry of Finance goal. So, but we could adjust not because we canceled some social support or cut the investment programs. No, uh, we indeed adjusted the system without uh, uh, sacrificing, compromising on social standards and sometimes uh, even raising them and growing the pace of the key investment programs. Uh, here, I will agree to Alexei Mikhailovich, so there is no silver bullet. But we have probably 20 to 25 key projects that we overlooked, that that, that we monitored, and uh, we managed uh, to, um, uh, to, to, to close the last financial year with a, a surplus. I would call it a technical surplus, but still. Uh, what did we do? We built a system of uh, strict uh, uh, public control in uh, state procurement. So I believe that our system is one of the best in the country because we control the procurement with the question of uh, expedience. Can we do without it, we ask. If we can do without it, we don't buy. Then we discuss what exactly we buy, what are the parameters. Moreover, we uh, really address standardization of purchases. For each position, we approve the technical and the contest documentation, the criteria and the other things. So, so uh, last year we uh, purchased uh, almost uh, 100 billion uh, rubles worth of products according to the standardized uh, terms. Then uh, we see the contract uh, terms, the sanctions, the fines, uh, the uh, 
In 2015, this system of total uh, state procurement control gave us approximately 170 billion rubles. Uh, so uh, uh, our total uh, purchase is uh, uh, 650. So the saving amounted to almost 20 percent. This is a very important tool where we seem to be pioneers. So, so we control the initial prices. So at, uh, we, when we announce a competition, we uh, definitely uh, uh, pay great attention. Sometimes we have failures. The system is very big and convoluted, but still uh, now we are trying to copy the best uh, 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 experience to the law number 224 and uh, we just copy and uh, this good experience and I believe in two to three years uh, there will be no, not much difference between the law 44 and 223 because these systems are coming close. Uh, so what else? We are trying uh, to stop subsidizing uh, the utility payments. So uh, uh, several years ago, the subsidies to not to the residents, but to some uh, companies uh, in the utilities was 42 uh, billion rubles. I believe it was a disaster. And Moscow in 2010, I guess, uh, uh, um, Amount, ac accounted for 80 percent for uh, subsidizing the utilities. Over the last four years, we uh, reduced it to only one fourth. It's only 12 billion rubles that we keep, and we um, uh, really uh, try to do even more. We replace uh, them to by, we, we replace them by uh, targeted. Uh, 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 subsidies to residents and uh, uh, specific individuals. Uh, so, what Alexei said about the criteria of need. So, that's true. We have got new opportunities in 2013. You know, there is a, a special uh, payment for children that, uh, you know, everyone was getting. Doesn't It didn't matter if the person, uh, 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 a new parent, wanted them or not. So at the first stage, uh, at least we ask them to, 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 to uh, provide uh, information about the parents uh, uh, to prove that you need this uh, subsidy. And out of those who indeed uh, uh, wrote uh, this application, so it was only one third. So we saved approximately three billion rubles on those uh, uh, child payments, and uh, this amount went to um, subsidizing the um, uh, children with special needs. So <coughs> then, <coughs> per capita financing. According to law number uh, uh, 83. So I know that many regions follow us. So we have uh, uh, so the the recipients of the budget uh, subsidy and service is now uh, so 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 the per capita financing of schools, for instance, the schools have changed their approach and the vision, and uh, approximately two. Uh, uh, we managed to raise the salaries of teachers primarily through better efficiency. And uh, we did not grow the number of teachers, uh, but we provide more services by teachers. It's not even uh, just teachers, uh, but um, additional employees at schools and educational institutions. We managed uh, to uh, combine schools and you. I guess keep reading in the healthcare. We are trying to uh, do something similar. Uh, so we use the per capita financing, and uh, the, we, we perform that in the healthcare as well. After we uh, made it at schools, and uh, it depends on the efficiency, and it gives us a very uh, 
uh, substantial additional resources. And uh, I could uh, talk about many other ways to attract uh, 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 the budget and uh, non-budget financing investments and we build uh, lots of uh, uh, highways through the uh, by, by the means uh, by um, through private investments so the city will just uh, provide the land uh, and uh, um, uh, uh, allow the private companies to build their the roads there uh, on concession basis and uh, non-taxation revenues. Over the last uh, four years, uh, the share of uh, uh, non-taxation uh, uh, revenues went up to 12 percent. What? What is there? Definitely, these are the uh, revenues uh, from the. Uh, city real estate and property. Uh, we have uh, uh, organized this system and uh, uh, we uh, checked and audited all the real estates and the benefits uh, and uh, we have suspended this activity so far because of the crisis but still we significantly uh, because we, we raised uh, the uh, revenues uh, from the uh, real estate and uh, then uh, the revenues from advertising because uh, everybody would tell us uh, the contracts will collapse no one is going to pay but we got seven billion rubles uh, that is half of the whole transportation tax amount from the Muscovites uh, so we got this amount from our uh, advertising activities. Uh, so, uh, you know, it seems very little here and there, uh, but uh, when you sum it up, it gives you very good numbers. But then the next item is privatization. We, our legacy uh, did not uh, bring money but required so much money like airlines, heat supply companies, uh, agricultural uh, complex in a, and so on and so forth. If we list all these non-core activities in the uh, city scope, it was a lot. And uh, in the Moscow government uh, of the for, of, mm, um, over the last few years, we, divest, uh, we, we divested uh, the non-core activities. Uh, uh, so the first goal was efficient owner. Uh, so uh, when uh, these companies uh, mm, uh, were sold, after after they have been they, they had been sold, they are asked no, for no more money from the city. Uh, take this Mo Ek Moscow Energy Company. Um, they stopped asking for money. We got rid of them. We divested of those uh, uh, non-core companies, but then we got 350 billion rubles, and uh, we kind of reserved this money, understanding that the situation uh, is very um, uncertain. We <coughs> um, and uh, so they help us a lot. And the most important, uh, in conclusion, the new, the latest tax initiatives over the last few years, uh, a very unprecedented expansion of uh, the authority, empowerment of the constituent units of Russian Russian Federation. So, uh, I used to work in Perm and uh, in the uh, regional ministries in the White House. So I did regional policies. I have never. Uh, seen such empowerment and authorities in the region. So, so we have the uh, taxation for real estate and property uh, according to the cadaster value and the uh, individuals. Yes, it is not easy. It is uh, very uh, difficult in terms of political uh, will and administration and uh, extremely important. I will disagree. 
that we do not know how to collect money from the small businesses. It is very important source of uh, 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 guessing up the budget. So, uh, and uh, we have to talk to them as equals. The small businesses in Moscow are partners because they pay according to the uh, simplified system and the patent we grew up to 20 to, to 2 billion and the trade uh, fee so last year it gave us 2 billion and this year up to 8 billion i understand i i, I expect to receive so and other positions it is very important and finally uh, seemingly small uh, authorities within the migration system patents for migrants last year we the budget got 11 billion rubles from the migrants they exceeded uh, the even the oil and gas proceeds uh, so if it goes on this year they will exceed the gas industry uh, revenues though I hope that the gas people will not want to be second best so um, if we look at all those little things we got over 50 billion last year very often all those additional means uh, we are getting uh, is does not mean a higher burden for the businesses it's optimizing so uh, we get money from those who have never paid and uh, some people say we have never paid taxes uh, and uh, we believe it's right so let someone else pay uh, but we won't but now the mentality is changing the small businesses and the mid business goes into the open and uh, we incentivize we motivate companies and uh, we shall start providing benefits to uh, the industrial companies so that our other colleagues from other regions uh, uh, who cooperate with us uh, could uh, help us to, to, to uh, could chip in. You know, we, it's not so simple. Each project uh, has uh, many facets and we have so many questions and today we spoke this cadaster value huge issue for all the regions we need uh, to apply system to develop a systemic approach to the cadaster values and I know that Igor Shuvalov personally uh, supervises this topic we hope to resolve that, it but at least it's something that that has to be uh, done and Moscow is willing to share and explain how we do it and then the three years budget plan is good uh, because it is proper technology uh, it allows you to have proper contracts to structure and manage processes and the budget and uh, uh, real estate it is very important politically because it uh, uh, makes you welcome the challenge uh, instead of avoiding it so in Moscow we decided that we need the three years plan and we shall be explaining the hurdles and uh, we, we shall be thinking about it so uh, wrapping up as the moderator uh, has not stopped me you know I uh, I, I, I didn't see any chance to stop you. Yeah, I wanted to tell you that Moscow was the first to face the issues that would later become common for everyone. You, we are, you know, uh, we, we are like uh, uh, frogs in biology. You know how to boil a frog. If you boil a frog in cold water and uh, uh, just uh, put to heat, uh, so the frog will boil quietly but if you drop it into the boiling water it will start jumping so it took us four years uh, to to uh, get heated uh, in cold water and uh, we got uh, adjusted and we are ready to share our experiences so the balance have changed and we uh, are ready to share to exchange experience and we shall be happy if you comment uh, and uh, uh, tell us how we can do better thank you 
we have been working for the last two hours, but we promised uh, to leave some time for a and a and we have representatives from different regions. And uh, please uh, um, give me a sign if you want to tell something. And first, uh, first deputy governor of Kostroma area. So. Yes, everything that you uh, were discussing is very important. I had a friend once, unfortunately, uh, my, my late friend uh, had uh, a favorite saying. Uh, so your point of view uh, will define your career. So then uh, he's been in business for 15 years. Uh, uh, so on, uh, was educated at the academy, and then he was asking, so who uh, who writes those stupid uh, laws? And it's impossible. Uh, so then he went to the head, he, he worked as the chairman of the budget committee and couldn't understand. And uh, so now just he has been four years as the executive uh, in the executive branch, and he can't understand, so why those laws are so stupid. So, But then, so once he got involved in it, he understood that so it was not that easy. Because I'd like to thank the Minister of Finance because uh, you know this is a very difficult region, and so they helped us a lot. The Minister of Finance helped us, uh, but the terms that were signed uh, so they are very difficult to perform. So we tried to do our best to perform all these complicated terms, and so they asked us just we, they asked us to pay uh, the uh, uh, the profit tax uh, uh, so for a year uh, uh, for the coming year. And it was very difficult. And so probably we are one of the five problematic regions uh, where the deficit is very high, and uh, very very high deficits. And uh, so when uh, we uh, approved our budget four years ago, the new administration, uh, when you know, so our state debt was 96 billion, and uh, so we tried to optimize everything, and so they worked for, and then we went. Uh, so then we managed just to to cut by 10 percent every year. So we got it so 83 percent, 73 percent. So it worked, and then uh, so we got some uh, authorities without financial support, and uh, so then we enjoyed some more empowerment without financial help, and then co-financing uh, uh, thing just came along, and uh, so that is why there's only one request uh, for the Minister of Finance. To get to get deeper uh, into the essence of our problems, to see where the land lies, to see and come and see the essence and difficulties and and problems on hand at our uh, at our region. And so, uh, first time I went to the Minister of Finance, I went to a department. Uh, uh, so which departments? So I went to the financial department, and uh, I was invited. To, and I said, so come to us, visit us. So we have beautiful, uh, so fishing, uh, uh, beautiful nature. So, but you have you have problems. Not only just nice nature. Uh, so they didn't come. They didn't visit us. So I invite, come, visit us. We'll show you all the strengths and weaknesses. So we're ready just to open up completely, be transparent. So nothing hidden, nothing hidden. So we're ready just to tell you, and to tell you what we can do. And uh, and if the Ministry of Finance uh, uh, thinks that such regions have any resources because we don't have a fund of uh, welfare fund. We don't have welfare fund. We don't have uh, any other funds. We only believe that one day the Minister of Finance will listen to us and will pay attention to us. That's what we want Minister of Finance to do. Uh, very, very short questions and answers. Uh, are there any short questions? Uh, so then a few comments. Yulisev, uh, uh, Sergei, uh, so head of the expert union of experts and managers. I work in Krasnoyarsk and Novosibirsk, and uh, Novosibirsk uh, has no heavy industry. And uh, so average business much more advanced uh, in its structure, much more dynamic than anywhere else. For Krasnoyarsk, uh, it backfired because the heavy industry uh, so, uh, so went went to the federal institutions or went to holding institutions, stalling appeared, and they suffered. And so small business, uh, micro business, and freelance, those who don't pay, so understand. So uh, so they need to be patented, that's it. And uh, so, But it will not address the issue. 
uh, of uh, our area. So what's more promising, just uh, in uh, mid-term, short-term? So what do we need to rely on small-medium business or through the institutional developments, corporations, and other things? So what need to employ? Uh, so what do we need? Yeah, b b because... Uh, so because actually, uh, unfortunately, so we we take out the timber, uh, and uh, so we do not make even our own plywood, and uh, so we have to buy the plywood to make furniture, and uh, so that's why small companies, uh, uh, so that employed one, two, three hundred people would be would be a good source, uh, uh, so for the revenue, and uh, it's a big corporations. Uh, uh, so revenues so, so could be used uh, so just locally if we could get them locally uh, and uh, so then the, the revenues uh, from the corporation of development could get into the funds of social projects that will be implemented so the source of medium business and then the connection of institutions of development could they resolve an issue could they address the issue or it's too late to do anything about that and uh, so Yamal and Ninetsk, our donor uh, region. Uh, so my question, the situation is, uh, so then he is the, the German uh, mayor of the city, so his budget is uh, 100 million. But um, I come and, and, and tell him, so there is an investment project. Uh, so for example, to generate more power, right? So we introduced this project, we implement it, and then uh, and then he reduces uh, uh, his cost structure. It used to be 90, now it's 80, for example. So you, and, and uh, uh, so right, and uh, so the cost structure reduces. And then he uh, is not an ally, but he is a, he's not even a neutral uh, personality. Uh, so then, for example, he is again. He is the mayor, and uh, so this is your debt. Uh, so for five years, so get 100 million. So save your own money. So what will he do? So he'll take a more strategic view. If he gets, if he knows that for five years he'll be getting 100 million every every year. So motivation is very important. What Yuri Vitalich was saying, I agree. I, I, I subscribe to every word. So he spoke, uh, 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 so business. Uh, and uh, Moscow is right. That, uh, so there should be motivation, motivation. And then everything will come by itself. So, and long-term planning, that's what we need to do. Uh, so then uh, the last, okay, the last comment, please. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm chief editor of one of the magazines. Uh, my question to Maxim Gennadievich, uh, you mentioned uh, uh, the uh, agricultural combined Yuzhny. Uh, so then it has uh, AFK system bought it. Uh, and then uh, so against the background of uh, import substitution, so it generates a lot of profit to uh, AFK system. Uh, and uh, uh, it could be, uh, is, uh, is, could a constituent unit of the Russian Federation be involved in its own business by itself? Or it's not rational, it makes no sense. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, our speakers uh, uh, will come out with uh, a short comments. I suggest everyone does that, and then Sergei Nikolaevich will wrap up. Let's start with you. Uh, so, uh, in our view, uh, the Moscow government ideology is that the authorities uh, should be involved uh, in something that Moscowites need: transport infrastructure, education, healthcare, culture, social protection. That's what they need. That's what they that uh, to do business, to be involved in business. Uh, uh, so then to have uh, agricultural facilities, but production, manufacturing. So maybe it's good, but in practice it does work well. So eventually it ends up in budget losses. We need just to concentrate on, on something that Moscovites need and, and do it well. So it, and, and business has nothing, has nothing to do with it. Uh, so there have been some questions. Uh, I should say that our position is... Um, uh, not to be involved in any uh, uh, industrial activity, uh, production activity. Uh, we don't want uh, to be involved in that. Although, uh, so we have a lot of state assets uh, in our region, uh, but it's not business as we see it. It's a social uh, necessity, I should uh, 
uh, say that. So once we, fi we find other uh, options, so we immediately transfer those assets to private investors because if we can't do that, then we have to do it. Uh, so Moscow for Business had an aviation company, but I have for social. It's my social responsibility, necessity, uh, because because the th third. Uh, so no no roads, uh, only by uh, only by air. So when uh, so, but there's very few uh, uh, so small aircraft, and uh, so small aviation is not there. So we. And uh, so we have 55 helicopters and small aircraft, and they are operating all the time in 10 airports. We have to uh, keep them on our balance. Uh, that's why we have to do it, because I've been to many regions, uh, because this is something that we have to be involved in, uh, because these are the assets. Uh, so this is our, this are the inter, uh, so your regional uh, transportation uh, facilities by air, by road. So we have to do it, and I have to find uh, money for that. Development of medium businesses, uh, this is correct, I agree. And I think that for Russia, uh, so the main task is just to, to raise the second level of investors. You cannot just uh, give a boost to the economy only by big companies, huge companies. So we need to mobilize a different level, just to reduce the level of monopoly. And uh, so because we have unique, uh, uh, unique deposits of uh, or gas, uh, oil, metal, nickel, gold, everything. But big companies are not interested. But the uh, but the lower level of investors would be interested to uh, to develop uh, those uh, 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 fields. And so they need to be given that chance. Uh, and so there's no no so the motivation of business. It's it's quite straightforward. We don't need a state corporation for that. We. Uh, so the, we transform it into an agency of uh, investment policy, investment development agency. It will be become operational soon. But we get state support. Uh, but I cannot, at the expense of the budget, to build this business. I cannot do that. And the money is very expensive. The money is not sh is money short. And that is why for uh, so that's why there is no small business, no medium business, because they don't have their own uh, 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 financing. And uh, any processing company, any big manufacturing asset needs money. That's why I have to rely on big companies uh, because Lukoil, Rosneft, uh, Ros Aluminum, Gold. Uh, so they're easy. they easy just to to find to find investments. Uh, 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 but when you talk uh, s small projects, uh, so that big companies are not interested, and small investors cannot do it because they have no financing, long-term financing, mm. and. Uh, so we need to understand that uh, so that there are mechanisms uh, which uh, which which reduce the cost of money without provoking inflation uh, so there are some mechanisms of the kind but we're not using them and uh, and uh, so uh, I was a little bit uh, apprehensive that Mr. Lukaev said that it's good that, that the population and the economy uh, has taken the strategy of saving I think it's a uh, so then the strategy of saving is, is probably good, but for the state to overcome the situation that we're talking about, it's very important to, to motivate development and not saving, to motivate people, businesses, uh, and not for saving, but to motivate them for spending, because otherwise, uh, so then the situation will be uh, unbalanced, uh, and uh, the situation will uh, aggravate. And that's why certainly I, I am for saving, uh, but uh, short term, I would change many approaches uh, uh, of the regulators and the central bank. Uh, so because uh, so then the availability of development resources uh, should be easier, affordable, easier, accessible, and available, uh, and uh, at uh, at a cheaper uh, cost of borrowing. And then we would get another layer, another stratum of investors that that otherwise we won't be able to create. Will you join the call? Yeah, yeah, I concur. Mm. I think that everyone knows uh, what the answer is. So because we don't know so why the con constituent uh, should be involved in business. Uh, there is an order of the president uh, that in order to... Uh, 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 so then the, the the assets of the constituent units uh, should only operate for the functions that that actually provide uh, state authority. Otherwise, uh, business has nothing to do with it. But certainly, the the constituent units should create uh, 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 good conditions, uh, fertile conditions for the proper development of small and medium businesses. That's exactly what they do. 
and uh, and uh, mm, mm, so that's exactly what we need to go for and, uh, and so they, we need to do it in the regions because the russian because the the, the laws are the same uh, but the situation in the regions uh, uh, is different uh, and uh, so that is why the state should not be involved in business uh, because if we look at foreign countries so uh, that the share of state property is very high compared to other countries and we need just to find efficient owners and and to give away through privatization the property so that uh, uh, so it's private business it's private responsibility uh, so this is it's not only to increase revenues but we need to create efficient uh, efficient owner um, so that would uh, so develop business um, Alexey Mikhailovich, I am ready to protect uh, min the Minister of Finance to some extent. Mm. Uh, uh, so there have been some comments uh, concerning the operations of the Minister of Finance. How can we respond to that? I think that all uh, presenters agree with each other. In, uh, so we're talking only about details and regional specifics. And the main conclusion is uh, to uh, then, uh, so then do we do have reserves and resources. Uh, and uh, so they exist in the regulatory, uh, legal regulation. Uh, so we do have resources and the authorities uh, that the municipal authorities, the constituent units enjoy. And uh, then the specific examples, so all the regions, all three regions, I spoke about that, that the Minister of Finance is doing a good job. Uh, but uh, but there are problems, uh, there are uh, challenges everywhere. So you cannot, so when the ministry, ministry sets the budget of Novosibirsk, certainly God forbid. Uh, so, but, uh, th yeah, and uh, I think when you protect your budget, yeah, and uh, so we uh, so we are abandoning this system. So we're not going just to set the budget. Uh, so from the center uh, and uh, and manage it uh, for the city of Novosibirsk. And uh, uh, so then I wouldn't give a copy for this project. It's a very risky project. Uh, so there are banks. Uh, so banks. Uh, so then. Uh, so they need just to borrow money from the banks. And uh, so this is a very risky thing. So public-private partnership. Yes, that's good. So lots of instruments and. Uh, so there is, a, there is a new law, and uh, so the opportunities have been expanded. So then uh, uh, PPP, uh, public-private uh, partnership, uh, may work well. And, uh, and uh, everyone just uh, concurred. So this, I even wanted to, uh, to, to debate, but there is no, no, no need just to, to, to debate any issues because everyone agrees uh, with uh, every, uh, everyone. I think it's been very useful. Uh, so now just we, we, we learn to listen to each other and make good conclusions. Everyone just agreed that there should be clear-cut pre predicta predictability. That's what we need. And it should be built on uh, on equal principles of normal, good, reliable system that would determine the rules of the game and the relationship. Not not to not to betray, not to not to uh, not to deceive each other. Because, yeah, so for because half of the regions were ready just to be completely transparent. Uh, so, but we need just to formalize, to identify. So, what the regions need to do to completely tell uh, 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 the money, uh, to, to tell what what they need to do, and what they have, and then once the Ministry of Finance starts trusting the regions because they will be completely open and transparent, so we'll be able to get out of the situation. We need to get out of this step by step, and we need to do it in mid-term, short-term, and as for this, we need a balanced program, and uh, and I think that. Uh, the results. Uh, 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 so actually, this is the main major uh, road that we all need to follow. Everyone understands that. So we need just to fall in love with the Ministry of Finance. Uh, okay. So no resolutions. Uh, but what's your short? Uh, uh, what's your last comment? Uh, uh, so then, uh, according to the uh, uh, principles of the Gaidar Forum, so we have had a wonderful. Uh, uh, discussion, very interesting broadening discussion, and the, and the uh, uh, administration committee. Uh, uh, so we spoke about very interesting proposals. Uh, so there will be no resolution. Uh, so there will be no uh, uh, minutes. Uh, but we need to do uh, so just uh, to properly think over. So the minutes. We would need the minutes, and all this uh, uh, so valuable. 
uh, so valuable comments uh, that you have made, we need to bring them to the attention of the Council of Federation. Uh, conceptually, this is very important uh, because now just we're in a time cycle uh, uh, where just we form these new documents, develop these documents. Uh, so Alexei Mikhailovich didn't speak about it. Actually, he heads this process uh, of the new budget code uh, uh, rewrite. And he heads this work, and now he's rewriting this budget code. It's a new platform, new approaches. And uh, and uh, so first we need just to, it will be put on the, on the web. And uh, the Minister of Finance did it right, and uh, so and uh, so when uh, so they worked a lot uh, different committees and uh, mr petrov heads the working group and uh, so they agree that we, need, we should not uh, uh, push it too hard and uh, so just we push, uh, we actually postponed it for the next year so he agreed with us uh, there should be an independent independent department of interbudgetary solutions from your point of balancing sustainable development of original budgets this is the new document that I would like to invite you to uh, uh, to discuss and uh, uh, go over. Mm -hmm. So we need just to discuss at our committee. And another very important document is the strategy 2030. And I say along the lines so of the social economic block. So we need another efficient work original uh, component uh, should be there as well. So we need to add it to uh, to those two blocks. Uh, and then the state program, so the, the third state program, number 36, uh, uh, Yuri Vitar spoke about that, Ministry of Finance is working on that. And, uh, uh, and, and, the main, uh, and the main motives and the main concepts of this program so need to be properly, uh, properly uh, uh, related to uh, the 2030 strategy vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis that and uh, so then to uh, to do this long-term uh, planning for the next 15 years and this and the local document at the Council of uh, Federation we discussed it at the plenary session uh, so we adopted it approved we adopted it as the basis and that would be the foundation for the development of the documents uh, for the next year and uh, uh, so again just to approve this document about the implementation of the budget of 2016 uh, uh, on, on the 25th of January and so you have your our phones so please uh, join this process uh, so then because we need to approve the budget uh, uh, certainly with the proper opinion opinions and comments made by every constituent unit of the Russian Federation thank you